up guys, your boy Debbie here, and I'm playing Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. There's a lot of dialogue, a lot of everything, everything, and I did it, I did that dialogue, I swear I did, but then I looked at the camera and something was wrong. Got to take card. So, what I have to do, I can put it on the front of this one. Whatever the case is, I'll just put all that dialogue there. You can read the story if you want to. I, myself personally, I'm not going to go through all that. So, what I will do is I will try to get back to where I was when I ended that one. Now, the thing about that is that I could probably speak for this part, but not much of this part because it's a lot of dialogue. It's like 15 minutes worth of only dialogue. So, instead of doing that, I'm just going to go through all of this because this reminds me so much of Game of Thrones. This particular Fire Emblem reminds me so much of Game of Thrones. But, the first one is also a lot more in Game of Thrones as well. Well, this is all before the current Fire Emblem series that has skyrocketed to the top of your charts because it's so good and stuff like that there. But, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in and I'm going to start playing. They talk a lot. But, the basic, the basic premise is Dark Dragon. He turns the Dark Dragon almost killed everyone, destroyed the world, taken over, and stuff like that there. Something happened, they gained a power that was enough to see them away, and it was put into, it was called the Sacred Stones, there were five of them. They fit, they're put into five, five different capitals to be protected. They endured peace for a long period of time, correct? Now, at this given point, one of Great Nation attacks another Great Nation. Everything was fine until the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> so, at this point in time, is like the situation is right now is what you're reading currently is stating that they're being attacked by the Grand Empire, which you'll probably see in the beginning of the next one. Sorry, in the beginning of this one, all that dialogue. You can, you can read it, you can read it, or you can skip through it. It's, it's completely up to you. And they tell you all the empires and who rules them and stuff like that there. But I am not going to sit through and read all of that. There's, there's no. Are you reading the press that I gave you? Yes. Get her up! Dig her! Get up! Again, all of this I read and everything. I gave people great voices and stuff like that there. And it's like, mmm. Reading all this again. Ridiculous. Basically, it's her and her twin brother. They both wear a bracelet. A special, special bracelet. I think I'm ruining it for you if you have never played Fire Emblem before. But he's like, he's wondering what he did wrong and why they attacked and how he's like, cause I said to myself, in this situation, you have endured peace for so long, you were not expecting an attack from the people you held dear. So Rhinus was first to fall, which is this capital, of course. But I'm amazed at the amount of force they needed to take my capital, that's the strangest thing. No, this little dude, he's actually pretty good. His stats are really, really good if trained well, so I focus a lot on him rather than Seth, even though Seth is like, well, Seth is considered the, the helper. He's good for the tutorial and the beginning because he is so strong normally. So it's easier to use him to like kill off units and whatnot. But I mostly use units like him to block. 
it's always best to use him to block because he can take a lot of damage. He can dish out a lot of damage. But you always raise up the weaker units versus the strong units. And as I was saying in the last one before I did, before I realized, this guy also reminds me of Large Bolton. They call him Large Bolton. Ram Ramsey. Reminds me of everything of Ramsey. He is Ramsey basically. If you don't know who Ramsey is, seriously, go watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, also. And if you know anything of the Reference Triangle, he has the wrong gear to be fighting this thing. But not only that, he also misses! <sighs> what was his voice again? Hmm. Such terrible wounds, and still he goes to his duty. How detaining. Fly away, man, fly away, trying to overrun death. More time. I can see no more of Gato's men. If you've made it this far, we've surely earned a moment's rest. Please forgive my grabbing you so brusquely earlier. Don't be foolish. Blah blah blah. I'll stab you later. Most definitely. When you're not looking, though. When you're not looking. Whoever that man was, he, clear, he was clearly after me. But stabbed you just in case. It's my fault you received such a grave wound. No, no. You stepped in front of me and you took it like a man. Good job, though. Good job. That's what you're going to be used for anyway, so let's keep going. I love to treat it. Just put some, just rub some poison in there. <coughs> yeah, I guess I cannot allow an injury like this to be an obstacle. We have more important matters to attend to. We must press on to Freyla. We must fulfill His Majesty's wishes. He's dead. Clearly. If a man attacks another kingdom, he never leaves the current lord alive. It would be more beneficial to kill the lord of that land. To ruin the people's hope of survival or even any or any form of resistance can't be mounted without the king. King Fado and Prince Ephraim are both valiant and brave men. I doubt even the Grotto Empire could hold them back. But it's nice that you're telling her all this, but you know, it wouldn't putting her in denial, you know? You look to your own safety. How sad the two of them would be if something were to happen to you. You must reach for to ensure the day of your happy reunion. Yes, of course, you're right. I tell you, United Father and Brother, I must not despair. Let us go. Once we cross that bridge, we will be in Freyla near the border of the Let us proceed, Princess. Your Highness, I won't lie to you, this won't be an easy ride. Please take this rap here, something should happen to me. <laughs> he gives me a weapon! Yay! You must continue to fight alone if need be. And here is where the tutorial steps in. Um, this is where you must decide where to use your units. Because I'm not going to be like, okay, I'm going to rush these guys with my two units. It would be easy to do it with Seth. But at the very end of the day, they're still using axes, and we are able to normally beat axes in terms of the weapon triangle. 
but I do not want to use Seth because that is a bit overkill. Not only is it overkill, she doesn't get any experience from this. So, what is best to do is best to move your units to an area where it's safest. Only one unit can attack here because they're going to come across this bridge and can only attack either her or Seth. No, Seth is currently hurt, but they're not going to attack Seth because Seth is way over their level currently. They're level 1. So their most logical choice would be Erica, who does not have as much strength or anything. But what I've done is I put her on the forest area, which is which offers her some defense. It offers a plus 20 defense, plus 20 avoid, so she is high in speed, so she should avoid most of their attacks. It's easier this way. But I'm not even going to attack. I'm not going to attack because the, re the return attack would never be a good idea. The return attack always hurts a lot more. It's like stepping out of the forest to attack them. Let them come to attack me. Her damage increase for this guy, that's actually pretty good. Maybe his defense just isn't as high as the other guy. Doing that one HP. I mean, but the crit matter. Oh, that is their leader. I will end and let him come to me. It's the same situation over and over again. We're in, I let them come to me. It's easier. In many games of war, people people are so impatient, that's the problem. And they rush head first into everything without thinking about the situation. You'll be the first to die. No, no, I will not. You on the other hand, like... I mean, based on what's ha- what the hell? Here's the problem though. If I miss, I'm sure to die. Unless I use Seth, but she has a high chance of hitting from this area, so she won't miss. What? How? Cause I'm badass, dude. Drop. <laughs> Princess, are you injured? Uh, what? Oh no. I mean, no, of course not. Um. I'm just happy that I live. Clearly killed a bunch of men. That wanted to do me harm, of course. Right. That wanted to do me harm. It was self-defense. Oh, oh self-defense. It's fun, this is war, isn't it? It's not like at all like the games I used to play with my brother and Leon. What kind of games you used to play with your brother and Leon? I didn't know it was going to be this savage. Oh, okay. You try, you try and talk to your talk to your betters. Sorry. Talk to everyone about you know everything. You know, trying to get past everything. It's not easy in war. It really isn't. Trying to talk things out. I think the term is called parlay. Trying to parlay with your enemy is never an easy thing. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end it here. Guys, if you liked it, smack that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. But thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye.